it's Tally the Classroom Doc, and this is kind of a unusual sort of maybe um, out of left field topic, which is about the elderly and falling. And there's a reason actually that I wanted to talk about this, because um, a couple of my neighbors who are both elderly just in the last month have both fallen and hurt, and hurt themselves quite a bit, and my father actually uh, fell off a bicycle. Uh, all of these may or probably indicate an uh, instability um, and this is not um, does not have anything to do with falls that may be caused by the police uh, who sort of nudge an elderly man for no very good reason so what I wanted to say was a uh, because a lot of elderly people may be trying in their own way to keep fit but one of the things, not only elderly people, but uh, younger people as well, one of the things that we tend to neglect, maybe because it's not as interesting, is we're really good at thinking about cardio or even going for a walk, but we don't think as much about muscles, about toning our muscles, and about balance. And balance is really important, um, especially for seniors who are more prone to falling. Now, um, lack of uh, flexibility and um, you know, good balance and strength is certainly not the only reason that people fall over, especially for the elderly. So if it happens frequently, you need to get it checked out. Could be an inner ear issue, um, could be an iron deficiency. It can be certain medications like sleeping pills. So definitely uh, get that looked at. But many elderly people just fall over because, you know, they, they're not, the muscles atrophy and they're not keeping up with that and they don't do exercises for stability and strength. Um, and, you know, a, a innocent fall can really end badly. So um, I want to just show you two simple exercises that you can do uh, if you're elderly. Certainly, it's always good to get a, you know, someone to work with you face to face when you can. Um, but a couple of exercises uh, for the elderly to help start to uh, work on the balance. One is simply, you know, uh, you've probably heard of squats and some people do squats of course or most people do them freestyle but for someone who's elderly and sort of frail and has not been doing them having a nice steady bench or chair something that's not going to move so it should be on a floor where it's not going to slide and just sitting down and then having some kind of a surface in front which i don't have right now um, and simply standing up you must have that surface in front for stability and sitting down and it's just a very modified squat but that is one exercise that's great to develop stability and a second one is and um, come up to some sort of a counter where you can hold on is simply standing on one leg for a minute or as long as you can the hands close to somewhere where you can grab it's also a good weight bearing exercise for the hips and then standing on the other leg for a minute. Now, I'm sure on YouTube there's a lot of videos uh, to help with balance and if you're younger you can work your way up to, up to more difficult exercises. Uh, stability and balance is really important. Uh, we don't want to just do the same old running or, or repetitive exercises and not uh, challenge our bodies to maintain other important things. Again, like the ability to return to your normal structure when you're a little bit off and that's what um, you know you, you can train your muscles to bring you back to your center and if they get weak and they're out of practice then that's how we fall anyway I hope that you found that helpful and um, if you know someone an elderly person who maybe has fallen in the past or maybe it's your parent uh, or has fallen a few times and it's not due to some medical condition or anything else then uh, maybe help them get um, into doing a few balance and strengthening exercises in addition to what they might do which is just uh, going for a walk. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks.